In this video, we will try to fetch some of the columns instead of writing select static. So what we can do is for this, we need to write the first column name. So I think it's product name. Yes, it's a product name. Product name and then we have the second is color. size and list price so we need to execute and here you can see we have product name color size and price so we need to and we have 397 rows so we need to get the same result index for this we need to use one function index that is called select columns. The syntax of this select column is it takes a few parameters. The first is the column name and the second is the name of the column. And then the third one is the expression and so on. So let's do it index. For this we need to write select column, select columns. And the first is the call the table name and the table name is product and then we have the name is this is the name of the column product name and then we will have we need to write the product table and the column is product name comma then we have the second is product name and we have the color size so product color and then we have product product size and you can write you you can choose any any name here it all uh, depends on you product name of the table and then we have to select the column size and the last is product price price this is the column so this is the list price first and then we need to close the parenthesis and here we need to click run and here you can see we have all the the product size this column is empty here we need to check why this thing is happening um, just go a little bit more yes so here you can see we have some pro some products don't have uh, product size that that's why these uh, these rows were empty and now you can see all the product color uh, now you can see all the products information and here you can see the number of rows are 397 so this is how uh, select columns works in ducks so in this way we, we can achieve the same result that we had already achieved in sql management studio